Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be going over some of the tools in TradingView that can be really, really useful for anyone trading a similar strategy to myself. And the strategy that I'm going to be showing is a four hour strategy. Uh, it's a trend trading strategy and it's used mainly for traders that like to be in the same direction of an overall currency. Um, so basically anyone that likes to follow the trend. Um, and this is a trade that I have basically just, you know, done the analysis for. Um, it's currently nine o'clock, well it's one minute to nine, um, on the 26th. And this was a trade, I don't know whether this is going to be profitable or not. Um, and I don't know whether I'm going to be taking this trade. But this is a trade that I have seen to be quite a nice trade. And I'm basically going to be going over some of the tools that I've used. And some of the analysis that you can apply to your own trading. Um, to, that can hope, hopefully get some good results. And... The first thing that I'm going to show is a tool that most traders don't use. I'm just going to expand this a little bit. Right, okay, so if you see where my mouse is on the bottom right, you can see that we've got this little panel here. And of course, I know that a lot of traders don't use this, um, but I was just kind of messing around with it today and I found it quite useful because the only part that I'm finding useful is this. And the reason for this is because this is showing me one year, a year to date, six months, three months, one month and one week's worth of data. And that is massively helpful for a trend trader because if I'm having a look at this, Let's say I'm just flicking through. I can see, okay, CHFJPY is on an uptrend instantly. Without even doing anything, I can see that this is on an uptrend. So therefore, I would only be looking for buys. Same with EuroJPY. Same with NZDUSD. Same with NZ, NZDCAD. And, you know, you, you kind of get the picture. And the reason why... I'm looking for a short on GA or GBP USD or GBP AUD, sorry. Um, it's because the over one year is 1.5% up, but year to date is 4.66% down. Six months is 8.8% down, and three months is 5.28% down. And that is a really strong indication to me, anyway that even before I do any analysis, this is going to be in a downtrend. That's it. Like, it's it's not complicated. That's all you need to look at to get your first bit of confirmation or bias as to where the market could be heading in the future. And that's a tool that I know for certain a lot of traders are not utilizing. Don't look at this. This is just total crap. So don't look at this. But just have a look at the performance and flick through every single pair and just have a look and just gauge where the bias could be for your trades. Um, so once you know that you're looking for shorts and you're on the four hour, if we just zoom out a bit, you can see, I mean, you've got a move up, you've had the move down. And we've had a quite a slow move up. Um, we're currently pulling back. So, of course, this could be quite a nice area to buy to try and take these highs out. But I'd rather go with a trend that is doing something like this. So, it's been trending since April 1st. Um, especially on the 4 hour. And every single time we've come back into the two moving averages on my chart which are the 20 and the 78, 
and then the 200. And the ones that I've actually used in this example is the 78 and the 200. So you can plot those onto your chart. And you see we've had a little move up here, short, bang, down. We've come back in again, short, down. We came up possibly for a little bit of a wick, moved down a little bit, came back in, down, came back in, down, and now we're back in. And seeing how for a year to date we're 4.6% down and we are currently in a downtrend, it, it, just, it just makes sense to be a seller in here. Um, so there's two things combining this trade to be a good trade. You've then got a previous order block of a high. So you draw that out and we're currently in it. That's the third thing. We've then got a high to a low and we're currently between the two Fib levels which are the 62 and the 71. Another thing. So that's four things right there that you've got. You've then got a high another high and possibly another high and I love to see three highs because in my trading three highs is really really nice to see so those three things or five things actually combined together combining all of these things together is a very very nice trade and even better than this You've also got a round number here. You've got the 1.8 level, which is a very, very strong level. So you've got the 1.8 level here. That's six things to, all together that is combining to be a trade. Six things. I don't know if you're going to find a better trade than that. And I don't care whether it hits stop loss or not. This is a very, 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 very nice trade. And I thought I would make a video on it just to show when you combine lots of different tools what can happen and I don't know whether this is going to be profitable I'll be posting it into the um, discord uh, it's currently the 26th which is a Sunday um, so possibly by August August time this could be a trade that you'd be closing um, so maybe when you know this is go going up on the website you, you guys will be able to look back and just see whether this is profitable or not um, yeah looks a really really nice trade thought I would show you some of the tools that I'm using and uh, yeah happy trading guys